So Emma, she is actually, uh, she's a business and organizational developer. She's a process facilitator, innovation leader, an implementer and a change maker. And she's currently head of Black Lizzie in Malmö, Sweden. And she moves people and organizations forward to create impactful outcomes. As a leader, she make innovation happen with digitization and sustainability as key drivers for transformation. So by driving collaboration, she enable innovation across disciplines and silos. A big welcome to you, Emma. Let's Thank see you so much. Yeah, there you are. Hey. So Emma, let's uh, please introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about yourself and about your dreams about the future. Mm. Well, you already made a great introduction. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm, um, I'm actually myself uh, on a new journey right now. As you said, I'm uh, heading uh, a company called Black Lissy, uh, establishing here in Malmö now. Um, and it's, it actually takes me on uh, a journey of uh, implementing uh, the work that I've learned um, uh, on the SDG course. Uh, so that's going to be super exciting uh, to... Um, to move from worst to actions, as we did in the in the pilot case in the um, in the course, uh, but even more so to dig into the company that I am in now, and I'm actually also building myself now, and um, and looking into how the work they have already started can connect even more to uh, the SDGs and uh, and um, also the the full value chain because they are more more looking at the operational sides uh, right now and have done so in a, in a brilliant way, which is why I um, actually chose uh, to work with them. Uh, but I'm yeah, really looking forward to, to be uh, part of building all of this and not only doing it as a consultant, which I will also continue doing. Mm. That's wonderful. And I'm truly happy for you and that you can see that you can actually apply your, your knowledge into a, a company and bring it forward and include even more people into your uh, into the company Black Lizzie. So that's, uh, I'm so excited to see the development of, uh, of this company here in the south of Sweden. Yeah, it's going to be an exciting journey and um, they are already very strong in social sustainability and, and it's been actually a, a really great driver for business for growth of the company which is why they are now uh, heading south and and uh, we're building the same journey here but it's it's because uh, they are so founded in social sustainability so i i think it's great to just see this living proof of how yes uh, sustainable a sustainable foundation as part of your business strategy definitely uh, drives growth and uh, attracts talents um, affects how you work with customers um, in a way that you actually can can grow in longer assignments and teams etc so um, it's going to be super interesting to also dig deeper into yes I was mentioning the full value chain and have a look at how can we affect uh, both in like sales marketing recruitments but also on the on the customer side uh, how much can we affect by our design their organization uh, the way they work uh, do we bring in some sort of code of conduct in in how we choose customers, our ways of working with them, um, by the, the products and services and organizations and businesses that we design, can we actually affect how they do things, how they view things? So I think that um, yeah, it, it really opens up uh, how much more there is uh, once yeah. you start working uh, with sustainability as part of your business strategy. Yeah, that's wonderful to hear. Uh, and, and yeah, to, to help companies as well. And, and also on the social impact, like um, sustainability is, is both environmental, economical and social. So it, it, it will be truly interesting to see what, what the company can do now for other companies on the social side. Mm -hmm. But what, what do you think? What, what do you see in the future? Um, mm -hmm. Um, well, on a more on a more global level, um, I see 
Well, if, if we talk about social sustainability, I definitely see that it all starts there. Uh, if we build a foundation uh, with um, good uh, and meaningful interaction between humans, um, that's, uh, that's from there where you can actually build, uh, design good business solutions that are sustainable, both when it comes to the environment and business and, uh, and the social factors. So I think it all definitely all starts there. And, and uh, with that said, I think that's actually um, a challenge for quite many companies. Uh, we, we can see quite many uh, big sites, large uh, size companies, but also uh, quite many medium sized companies actually uh, having a sustainable strategy right now. But in too many cases, it's more words uh, mm. that are not put into action and um, yeah. There are many examples uh, in media right now of when you fail in one part of your value chain, it affects all of your intentions in, a, in the other one. Um, and uh, yeah, I think what we will see or what I hope to see and dream about seeing um, in the future, which is for me like the next year, um, <laughs> is that uh, very many more companies um, and I, I think I hope many, very many medium sized companies uh, will actually uh, just put themselves uh, out there and just see, okay, what is, what is sustainability for us? What can we do? And even if you, you, know, you decide to have a strategy, that is not what, what is most important. The most important thing is that you actually put some goals into action and, and uh, just make sure that you have the impact that you want to have on the world. Yeah, great. Thank you so much, uh, Emma. And uh, I would love to give you a toast for you as well. So everyone, raise your glasses. And congratulations, Emma. And good luck with your new assignment on Black Lizzie. Thank you. Cheers. Gratis. Skål. Skål. <laughs> Skål.